It's hard to believe it's already almost May. Our focus for the month of April was compassion for others. One of the ways we showed compassion for others was when we made kindness cards for seniors at Friendship Village. It just so happens that when the cards were delivered last week, it was perfect timing. One of the residents was diagnosed with COVID and everyone had to quarantine. The seniors were feeling lonely and then your cards were delivered. Take a look at how the kindness cards brought much needed smiles to their faces. It is said that the beauty of the world lies in the diversity of its people. This month, we also showed compassion for others by getting a better understanding of the many cultures that we have at Dirksen. We had many family members take part in our cultural friendly fam family friendly cooking class. We will be sending out a menu with links to the videos of our families teaching you how to make some delicious dishes. We also have some staff members here to share something about their culture. So in my family, we love to celebrate Ponchki Day, which translates to uh, Donut Day. So on this day, my aunt uh, bakes all these donuts from scratch, and she fills them up with jam. My favorite is the plum. Raspberry is also very popular. And so we eat a bunch of Ponchki, and then we share whatever we can't finish with our family and friends. I'm from the Philippines. Um, that's a country in Asia, in the east. And on New Year's, we like to eat sticky rice. Um, it's kind of like mochi and it represents like strength in your family and we like to have noodles for a long life. My mom's side of the family is very Italian. They're from Sicily and something that we do before every family gathering or family party is we make homemade sauce and pasta together and we love and enjoy spending time with one another. So my family is Irish and on St. Patrick's Day, we always go to my Nana's house and we make traditional Irish dishes. Some of the things we make are soda bread, cabbage, potatoes, and then corned beef. For my family, um, Christmas is a very uh, special holiday for us. And so we usually like to kick off the season right after Thanksgiving by um, going and traveling to Wisconsin um, just over the border. And we go to cut down our own Christmas tree. And this has become a yearly tradition where we get to take a wagon ride and pick, walk through all the trees and pick out the right one. And we've done it in the dark, in the rain. And so we've, we've had many fun adventures. And it's just every year we reminisce about remember this time and that time. And then it's just a um, a really fun time to bring home the tree and then we all play music and we all trim the tree together. So it's just kind of like a full day kickoff to our favorite season of Christmas. My family is spread across the country. So um, for some of the smaller holidays like Easter or in Thanksgiving, it's just my husband and my two children. So um, our family's tradition is that my daughter and I cook grandma's mac and cheese and um, make our special macaroni salad and deviled eggs. And that really helps feed my entire family uh, way too much. <laughs> In my family, Christmas is also a big thing. Um, so every morning on Christmas, me, my sister, and my mom make this thing we call monkey bread. Uh, we started it when we were little. It's little dough pieces with lots of cinnamon and sugar all baked together with butter drizzled on it. It is crazy good and we have it every Christmas morning um, before we go our separate ways to celebrate with other family and friends. The kindness and determination of our dolphins to persevere and show up each day continues to amaze us all. Congratulations to everyone whose names were entered in the raffle for the living the key, this is it, and making the most of every moment. Ms. Court and Mrs. Mandarino, are you ready to choose some names? Oh gosh, I think we are. You won't even believe. Oh, how am I going to dig down deep in here to find some names? We have so many people living the key of this is it. Mrs. Mandarino, are you ready to go? 
ready, go, why don't you go ahead and pick first? I know you have a ton in there. All right, let's see. We have a sixth grader from room 221, Logan Fisher. Congratulations, Logan. All right, I picked a kindergartner in room 102, Advika K. Congratulations. All right, let's see who else we got here. Whoops. I have a fourth grader from room 206, Patrick Sikora. Congratulations, Patrick. All right, I don't think we've had a fifth grader yet. I have in room 218, Ava B. Congratulations. All righty, let's see. I found a first grader from room 120, Ryder. Congratulations, Ryder. All right, I have a third grade name, um, Izzy B. Congratulations. All right, and I have a second grader from room 107, Ava Mallon. Congratulations, everyone. You will have some awards coming your way shortly. Thanks to all of our students who made the most of their time this month and who lived the key of this is it. You guys have done a great job showing up every day. Keep up the good work. The theme for the month of May is time to celebrate you. It has been such a crazy year and we are so proud of the Dirksen students. You showed up each day ready to learn and do your best. It is important to take time to celebrate you, so be on the lookout for some fun activities coming your way in May. We are so grateful for our Dirksen community and always remember that our Dirksen community is never apart, maybe in distance, but never in our hearts.